Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here with a video review of some of the new demon kits. Uh, today in this episode, I have for you uh, a review on the new Nurgle Plague Bearers, the Nurglings, and the Soul Grinder kit. As you can probably tell by looking at the picture here, the Soul Grinder kind of looks the same. <laughs> but we'll get into that in a minute. Anyways, so let's take a look at our first kit, which is going to be uh, the Plague Bearers here. This kit, uh, people have been waiting for this for a while. Uh, it's been about, what, three years since the uh, since the Demons came out. Most of them are in plastic, except for these guys. So it gave, definitely gave us something to look forward to. Um, you get ten models in here. Uh, each one, each body has, uh, or each, each torso, I guess, has a different body. As you kind of see when we open these up. Um, so a couple of different ones you can you can choose from. So we got that. Some instructions. Of course, you get the uh, square bases, a couple bunch of round bases, and then the two screws themselves, right there. And the you know, instructions, which is pretty straightforward. You just you know. Hey, look, you can make one on a square, one on a circle, yay, a couple different things. What I like about these is the, uh, the little, uh, the jovial little, uh, nurglings that are, that are added, like, just skipping along, hey, no care in the world, just a, just a little nurgling. Uh, this one here is actually doing a handstand, uh, mooning, uh, whoever's, uh, unfortunate enough to see it, I guess. Uh, then there's another one that's, uh, pulling on intestines and different things, so, I guess that's that guy right there, but, yeah. But uh, it's pretty cool, 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 uh, cool little kit. Nice little add-ons. One, two. I don't know what that is. I speculate it's a pile of something bad. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there's a bunch of little nerglings. Let's take a look at the kit. Um, this sprue here gives you uh, six different, six different plague bears, uh, and then you've got the uh, the follow-up one with four different ones in the command. So just to give you, just to give you a heads up on this, so you got. Four different, four different ones here, two different ones here. And then you've got the different torsos, uh, torso add As you can see, they're uh, basically lettered to match, so you know which ones fit with which. Then you got some of the, uh, there, uh, there's a the little nurgling showing his butt. A couple of the other little nurgling add-ons and stuff. And then you've got the, uh, here's the fronts. So you can kind of see the detail, detail on the back, detail on the fronts. A lot of them would like, you know, open intestines, open wounds, different things, gaping holes. The heads are pretty cool. They, there's nothing nothing really too bad about the heads on these. I like them. Uh, there's a neat little, there it is, there's one of them. I like the ones with the big horns, like the old, uh, the old uh, great unclean one with the, the huge antler horns. Those are pretty cool. There's another one. Here he is right here, this one. That's a pretty cool head. I like that guy. For like a unit champion or something for fantasy maybe. So it just kind of gives you an idea of some of the different, uh, there's the, uh, part of the standard. Turn that around for you. There's your standard, standard bear pole. There's a musician around here somewhere. Looks like he's playing on some sort of bone instrument, which I'm not shocked to see. So that's pretty, pretty much it for the Plague Bears kit. Two different sprues, uh, six and four on each one. And you get all the accompanying bases and such. Um, overall, I, I really like the kit. I think, yeah, I think it was done well. Um, and it's, uh, it's kind of been a long time coming, and I'm sure we're going to see a lot of these people picking up a lot of these because, um, you know, Ally with Epidemus, Epidemus, whatever his name is. Uh, there's some cool stuff out there. Uh, next up is the Nurglings kit, and, <laughs> and these guys are kind of, uh, kind of fun looking. Uh, more jovialness, jovial evil, so to speak. Uh, there's your round bases, two sprues, square bases, check, instruction manual, hey, glue these guys together. What I like about the design on this is, if you notice here, it's kind of like an interlocking interlocking system to make one base, which, for some of the, you know, good ideas out there, you could just make, hey, that's a base, and hey, that's a base, and throw these guys around, a couple of them, make another base, so out of one box you could get a lot of boxes worth of worth of uh, bases. Um, so you got, there's the Nurgles, little Nurglings, different stands, different things, a couple loose ones on each sprue. Here's the other one. 
Uh, you might want to. You might notice too, like on the back, there's a couple spaces that like butt up against the the guys that that go go behind them or whatever. But I mean, you can easily just like throw some putty in there and make it like a gaping hole or whatever. And super super easy fix if if you if you even care. To, if you want to do a bunch, you know, try to maximize as many bases as you get out of this kit. Uh, I like this guy. He's like, come come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Okay, so we t if we take a look at this, it's supposed to be three bases per box, right? So, take a look at these two screws. You got one base, two base, three base, four base, five base, six bases. So right there, you just doubled what the box is originally intended for. I mean, you've got to decorate, the, decorate up the base a little bit. You know, there's just going to be some surface area left for, for that. I mean, if you, you know. But then you could get seven bases eight bases, nine bases, with a couple of extra D, or with, looks like one extra D left over. So, or you could use some of the extra dudes to throw in front. Either way, you either double or triple what, what the box, the intended capacity of the box, <laughs> with, just by doing it that way. So, I don't know, I mean, in the Epidemus list, Nerglings can get really ridiculous really quick, but... I think they're more characterful models. Uh, I'm not sure how they play in fantasy, but they're still pretty cool. And hey, there's nothing wrong with having extra of anything in this uh, in this hobby. So that's just an idea. I, I think these are great looking models, and uh, they're, they're 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 definitely cool and full of character. I think they're uh, they're going to be one of my favorites. That's for sure. So that was the Nerglings kit, and then we have the Soul Grinder. And as, as you know, this, this kit's been around for a while. So, <laughs> what's so new about it? Well, this is actually two kits now. <laughs> because you can play it in fantasy with a new update in White Dwarf. So, to celebrate that, new model comes on a score base. Open it up. Hey, there it is. Big square base. So I'm not sure how many of these we'll see in 40k, but uh, I imagine somebody will play it in fantasy at least. That's pretty much it. Everything else in this kit is exactly the same as the, uh, the original version. It just comes with a big square base. I think that's the same base that comes with the uh, uh, thun um, the ogre uh, thunder tusk guy, the big the big guy. But you know, something different. Not any, not uh, not bad to get new stuff. That's for sure. So I'm MBG, and I hope you enjoyed my uh, video review of three of the new Chaos Demon kits, the Nurglings, Playbears and Nurgle, and the Soul Grinder.